Mr. President, when you arrived in Washington four years ago, you had hoped to bridge the partisan divide. Right. That hasn't really happened. Why? Well, you know, I think that, uh, you know, there was a decision made by uh, the Republican Party that their best political strategy would be to try to block what we were trying to do. Um, but, you know, hope springs eternal when it comes to me. I'm, I'm an optimist, and uh, despite, I think, a lot of these partisan differences, we've been able to get a lot of things done. Uh, America's safer than it was. The economy's improved. You know, people are starting to be able to get back to work. Uh, you know, we've created over 6 million jobs in the last uh, 35 months. And the key now is for us to focus on what actually works. We know that, uh, you know, if we improve our education system, and have a world-class job training system that companies will come here. And so I put forward very specific proposals for things like early childhood education. Uh, we know if, when it comes to deficit reduction, instead of the automatic spending cuts that we're looking at nine days from now that will uh, have an impact on everything from Head Start to military readiness to uh, mental health services, that we should have a smart, balanced approach that cuts out programs we don't need, but also closes uh, some corporate tax loopholes out there that uh, are unnecessary. And, and so uh, across the board, we have an opportunity right now uh, to keep progress going, strengthen our middle class, uh, but it re does require us to put uh, uh, the country ahead of politics, and, and uh, hopefully Congress is hearing that from its constituents uh, during the week that it's off the back home. All right. Uh, in your State of the Union, Mr. President, you praised our troops mm -hmm. uh, and said that they had exceeded expectations yeah. while some of our institutions had let them down. Yeah. Which institutions were you referring to? Congress, one of them? Well, I think uh, you know, all of us have to take responsibility for thinking about the same uh, patriotism, duty, selflessness, responsibility that we see on display in our military. Uh, and, and that means uh, you know, recognizing that we're a single team. Uh, that uh, this isn't uh, Democrats versus Republicans, this is Americans, and we're supposed to be focused on uh, what actually moves the country forward. There are going to be some vigorous debates, vigorous differences about, uh, you know, ideological issues, size of government, and, and should we be uh, funding certain programs and, and attitudes around social issues. But uh, the problem is right now is, is folks tend to focus on uh, what's going to give the short-term political advantage to one party or the other. Instead of, for example, the program I put forward, Fix It First, which says let's fix all our structurally deficient roads and bridges. Uh, that is, shouldn't be a partisan issue. We can put people back to work right now. Uh, it improves our economy over the long term. We can uh, streamline uh, the, the permitting process so it gets done quickly. Businesses benefit. That's part of what attracts uh, people to uh, locate here is if we've got world-class infrastructure. That's not a partisan issue. Those are the kinds of things that we can get done right away if uh, we're you know, really focused on uh, how to improve the country and not uh, worrying about the next election. All right. Let's talk about jobs very quickly. You referenced Apple bringing jobs back to America in your State yeah. of the Union address. Of course, that's a, a very much a Bay Area company. Uh, what will it take to bring more American manufacturing jobs back to the United States, and how important do you think Silicon Valley can be in that regard? Well, I think... Uh, you know, we have a huge advantage when it comes to high-tech industries uh, and uh, knowledge-based manufacturing. Uh, we've just got to make sure that uh, not only is the research and the development done here, and it's important that we continue to fund that aggressively, uh, but we've also got to make sure that we've got the most highly skilled workforce, uh, which is why I've proposed improving our early childhood education system, our STEM education, our, our science, math, technology uh, education system, uh, that we are uh, reforming our immigration system so that when we train some wonderful uh, young person who's uh, uh, from someplace else at, at, at a Stanford or a Caltech, that uh, we welcome them with open arms to stay here and work here and start businesses here. Uh, and we can change our tax code so that we're incentivizing uh, investment here in the United States instead of uh, overseas. Uh, those are all things that I talked about in the State of the Union, and uh, it's my single highest priority is making sure that businesses and manufacturing stay here in the United States and move here. Uh, we're starting to see some insourcing taking place. Let's accelerate that trend. All right. Uh, immigration reform, tax reform, infrastructure repair, yeah. uh, all sorts of issues on your agenda. Right. How important is it in a second term to get off to a fast start before attention turns to the yeah. new election? Well, I, I'd like to get as much stuff done as quickly as possible. I, you know, uh, even though I'm just starting my second term, 
Uh, I know that uh, you know once uh, we get through this year, then people start looking at the midterms, and after that, uh, they start thinking about presidential elections. And the American people uh, don't want us to spend all our time talking, thinking about elections. They want us to do some work. Now's a good time for us to get some things done. And uh, America's poised to grow in 2013. And add a lot of jobs, as long as Washington doesn't get in the way. All right. Uh, quickly, Proposition 8 yeah. being debated and being considered rather in the U.S. Supreme Court next month. What will your administration do? Well, you know, the Solicitor General is still looking at this. Uh, you know, I have to uh, make sure that I'm not uh, interjecting uh, myself too much into this process, particularly when uh, we're not a party to the case. Uh, I can tell you, though, obviously my personal view, which is, is that uh, – uh, I think that uh, same-sex couples should uh, have the same rights and be treated like everybody else. And uh, that's something that uh, I feel very strongly about, and my administration is acting on wherever we can. All right. Finally, this is a political question you want to duck, but how does your golf game hold up next to Tiger's? Uh, that's not a hard question. Uh, he plays a different game than I do. Uh, he, he's he's, he's uh, on another planet. Is he more nervous because he's playing with you, or are you more nervous because you're playing with Tiger Woods? Uh, you know, I, I don't think either party was nervous. Uh, you know, he, he, he knew that... Uh, uh, I wasn't a big threat to uh, his world ranking, uh, and, and, and I knew that I better keep my day job. Right. Thank you, Mr. President. Enjoyed it very much. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Appreciate it. Thank you.